So how nice is it not to have to travel? I think it's pretty nice. It's uh, it's nice for a lot of reasons. Obviously, uh, it's like like I said, it's a close game. So um, I heard the ticket sold out. You know, five six minutes. So uh, that's exciting. Um, a lot of people supporting us. So it's but it's good. It's good to be close to home. Um, you know, we're gonna have a lot of hometown support. So uh, you know, we're just ready to play. And we're excited for Thursday. All right. Once you get in this tournament too, you're going to be playing a team you've never seen before. Exactly. So this has got to help the fact you guys have played them this year. Yeah, it helps a lot. I mean. Um, and, you know, it helps that we also, you know, feel like we should have won that game. So it gives us confidence confidence going in that we know it's a team that's obviously beatable and um, that we've seen before. And we, we, we're very uh, um, familiar to the scouting report, you know, things they like to do. And um, like I said, we prepare well today. Um, and uh, we're just, like I said, we're just anxious to get out there on Thursday. How, how much tape do you watch of the, of the other game you played them? Did you watch that as much as their last few? Uh, we, we use a, a lot of that film for our scouts, so, you know, fast break early O and, you know, the different plays they ran against us. So, uh, we, I mean, we watched quite a bit of it. More than, more than the other games they played recently? Um, we watched a little bit of those games because, you know, new plays, new yeah. things like that in conference tournaments because you get scouted so much. But uh, we, watched, we watched a little bit of everything. Would you, say you're, Go ahead, would you say you're a, you have a little more depth than you did in December? Uh, With Ricky back? Point? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, with Ricky back and Rob, Rob, uh, Rob uh, playing well, and uh, also Bach. Um, I think we do have a little depth. Um, just you know, just have, now we have to have to find that team chemistry with you know adding a few new guys. But I don't think it will, it will affect us at, at, at any point. But um, but it gives us you know a lot of uh, extra rest you know for you know Allen, myself, and and also the bigs. Talk about how the way UNLV plays works for you. Uh, do you like the style that you're likely being? Oh uh, yeah, so they play up and down style. You like they like to get up and down and. Um, you know, uh, just, you know, play, you know, fast break basketball. They don't really run too many sets. It's all a lot of ISOs, and, you know. Uh, coach called it, you know, similar to the NBA style game, you know, just a lot of ISOs and point of attack type things. So, uh, I mean, I'm excited because I know a lot of those guys, you know, playing AU and things like that. So um, we're, we're very familiar with, you know, the style of play. Is it a, a style that's conducive for you? For sure? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I like getting up and down. You know, the little half court sets are, those are the ones that kill you when you have to sit in defense for, you know, 35, 35 seconds every every time down. You talk about uh, the different mindset. Of being one and done. Yeah. It, I mean, it, if, if it, that doesn't, you know, get your mind going, you know, just by knowing that your season can be over like that, you know, it's 40 minutes, and, and in 40 minutes, if the other team has more points, your season is over. So uh, I think we're very, you know, we're very conscious of, you know, what's at stake and, uh, you know, the opportunity that's in front of us. You know, a lot of teams don't even make it to this point. You know, a lot of teams are going to be watching us play. So, uh, I, like I said, we're blessed to have this opportunity, and we're very conscious that, you know, if we don't we don't come out and perform and play the way we need to play, it can be our last game. Last year, were you back here in time to watch the opening of the other tournament? Game? Which which tournament? The, the NCAA. Oh yes, we were back. Yeah, we lost in the playing game. Yeah, I know. So that, how did that make you feel? That you're sitting down. Watching? It it was tough. You know, I didn't even want to watch basketball for a while. I don't think I watched watched it till I think the Sweet 16, Elite Eight, Elite Eight time. But um. I mean, it's a feeling that's still fresh in my mind. Uh, you know, nobody likes losing, whether it's you know NCAA tournament or you know a regular season game. But that that's that sticks in your mind a little bit more, just because you know that's the end of you know that was the end of my sophomore season. So you know, you just don't want to feel that feel that too soon. How's the team? Is the team pretty fresh and, and healthy as it has been for a while? Would you say? I think so. I think so. Coach, coach is doing a very good job of you know pacing pacing practice and uh, keeping guys fresh and, and keeping guys rotated and keeping practice cut down. So uh, I think uh, a lot of guys are fresh. A lot of guys look, you know, very are very bouncy today than they usually do, just, you know, dunking the ball and things like that. Justin, you guys haven't won a game in a while. You haven't played a couple, but you haven't won a game since March 2nd. Any concerns about forgetting what that feels like and what to do and how to, how to make that happen? No, I don't think so. I mean, we only, we only lost two straight games. And, uh, you know, um, the Utah one, they, they just they played well. And Stanford, you know, that's you know that's behind us. You know we're not worried about it. Like you know we went on a seven game, seven game winning streak, and I think in that point I know we were losing. You know win a game, lose a game, win a game, lose a game. So I think this team, this team is very confident. We're not worried about what happened in the past. Like like you said, we're just focused on you know one game, and we know if we lose, we're going home. So everybody everybody is conscious of that and ready ready to step up and make plays. Defensively, uh, you know, Bennett uh, is their leading scorer, but other than that, they have a lot of balance. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you turn your uh, your defensive uh, emphasis towards? Uh, we just know that all those guys are looking to score. You know, and on on a lot of teams, you know, there's a lot of role players, guys that know their roles. You know, that want to set screens and you know, 
point guard that's going to be a pass first guy. But, uh, you know, we know on this team, a lot of those guys are looking to score. So as soon as they touch it, I mean, you should be ready, ready to defend that point of attack. So, uh, we, like I said, we're very, very familiar with their game plan. We're very familiar with how they play. There's, you know, the tempo they run. So, uh, I mean, I mean, we're just excited, excited to get it out there and play. You said you know some of their guys. Is Marshall one of the guys you know? Yeah, Anthony, Justin Hawkins. Uh, How do you know Anthony? Anthony Marshall? Yeah. From the, uh, he played he played on the Vegas team. We used to play them every year when we went to Vegas. And Justin, you know, we grew up together. He's from he's from L.A., Compton Magic. And and Bryce, you know, also he went to Taft High School. So that's another L.A. So L.A. You have a, a chance to defend his shot the last two seconds of a game. How do you do it differently than last time? I would probably try not to block it because, <laughs> you know, I, I got a piece of it and it fell short and they end up getting a rebound. So I would probably just try to contest it and hopefully it hits the rim this time. And hopefully we're not even in that situation. So you've had a little NCAA experience. Yeah. Your coach said a lot. What's the smartest thing your head coach has said to you about the NCAA tournament? Uh, just, you know, just, just how – how you know it's it's oppor it's an opportunity for us, you know. Um, you, you hear every year that you know there's always a Cinderella, quote unquote, Cinderella team that you know is playing well at the right time and, and makes that run in NCAA tour NCAA tournament. So he just tell us, you know, stay focused and you know embrace the opportunity because like like I said before, not not a lot of teams get to play in the NCAA tournament. And I think everybody's everybody's conscious of that. Justin Birch wasn't eligible to play mm -hmm. in the game in December. How much have you seen of him and then? What sort of dimension do you think he adds to their roster? Uh, I just, I mean, I don't really know too much about him because uh, just because of his effect. But I just know he's a shot blocker. He's very active, uh, very active and physical. And um, so, I mean, his role is, isn't really like those other guys' roles who, who's scoring the ball so much and putting up big numbers. But uh, he's more of just, you know, a, a defensive presence and uh, energy guy. Justin, you guys obviously played right with them last time, but how right. important is it for you guys to show up physical and aggressive that night? Because that's one of the things at times you guys have had difficulty with. I think it's very important. I mean, just you know, uh, you know, you can't let you can't let a team come in and just be the aggressor because you know that gives them momentum. You give them momentum through the rest of the game. You give a team confidence. They can just take off and run with it, and you're on, you're on your heels trying to trying to play back into the game and have to get used to the officiating and things like that. But if you go out there and and be the guy that that's that's more aggressive. Uh, I think that gives your team and you know your other teammates support that you know it's it's going to be a physical game and you'll be ready for that rather than taking the blows first. When you guys have been at your best, do you think you've been that way? I think so. I think so. And our defense in our defense has shown that. I mean, when we're aggressive on defense, when we're making the right plays, when we're all playing together, I mean, that's when we start going on those seven game, eight game winning streaks. Would you be watching any? Uh, um, any of the games from that the winning streak is that part of the preparation? Just to, just to remind you guys, hey, we're, we when we're doing these things, yeah. we're, we're not bad. I don't think we watch it, but we go over our schemes a lot. I mean, the defensive schemes. I mean, um, just really, really when we were moving, uh, you know, helping each other, helping to help, or one guy helps, another guy has his help. So that's what we really just harp on. We don't really talk about, you know, I mean, watch film, but we really just emphasize and talk about the things we did in that in that in that seven game winning streak to to keep it going.